Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be testing the brand new Bonnie Star Power, which literally got out in the game at about an hour or so. So with this, for every hit, it deals 25% extra damage to enemy nearby enemies. So it'd be pretty interesting to see this Star Power and not try it out at all yet. So before we jump into it, make sure you're using the credit code. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, we're jumping into the first game then. So sorry if I seemed a little bit rushed in the intro. There is going to be a maintenance soon, so I just wanted to get this video out as quickly as possible so from the get-go i feel like this star power should have a little bit more value than the other one just because uh, the other star power you don't really need that extra range in my opinion with the uh, jump the jumps already got a large distance on it and to be honest uh, for the most part you're going to be within range anyways so that's why i feel like i'm just going to prefer the star power anyways but we'll have to wait and see how strong this one is and also if you guys are wondering about the tier list i know i literally said uh, it would be today but there is a few new things out in the game right now there's going to be a challenge video uh, early tomorrow morning uh, which is going to be a challenge tomorrow so i'll be getting that out asap for you guys uh, but of course this star power came out a bit randomly as well i thought there was no way they would introduce their star power yet but they just seem to add it so i'm going to use a dash here i'm using the new gadget and the new star power combination just because i thought i'd have a little bit of fun and of course it's going to make uh, bonnie a little bit better when she's in that shorter form so should be able to shred this primo here especially if he gives us uh, our damage gear okay somehow we're actually going to get taken down here uh, but at least we're able to respawn in our normal form so if you guys are also wondering on how strong bonnie is i can give you a little teaser to my tier list bonnie is definitely within the top 15 in my tier list so that is a little bit of a uh, teaser for you guys i have already basically recorded it and ed edited it so i know all the final placings now and maybe this star power makes bonnie even stronger so i might have to edit it a little bit uh, just because already it seems like the stop out is pretty decent so it looks like even if i miss i'm going to be hitting some shots so that is kind of insane so it reminds me a little bit of the surge split of course not going to be anywhere near o as op but i feel like if you miss some shots i think you're going to hit be hitting some i think if, if it hits actually like a wall or something yeah so it looks like it actually splits off into four different directions i believe uh yeah it looks like it splits into like a mini grom attack uh, so that is pretty interesting and for sure it's got to be uh pretty good i, I imagine so it looks like i'm gonna get taken down by the search here okay you could just see you get 1000 damage when you with that damage get activated for me that is just so much it makes brawlers like edgar just completely irrelevant in this meta when you've got a near enough 8k hp sniper which can just catapult itself into like a way better version of edgar with better range and just faster capabilities it's just yeah, it just makes brawlers like Edgar, as i said really bad so that's going to be the first game right there seems like this star power could be pretty op let's hop into the next one all right guys jumping into the next game and so if you guys are wondering as well what's the kind of best form for bonnie in my opinion i actually feel like it's going to be like the longer range i know you're quite slow and uh, you don't have the quickest reload but i feel like that's the better version because you can pretty much like free tap so many people from such a long distance and having so much hp as a sniper is very op and of course it's going to be a bit of a faster version than 8 bit i believe so of course that's going to be pretty nice so getting close to our super here let's see if we can at least kill this mortis perhaps i don't think i've actually got the dps to take this mortis down i'm just going to use uh, this jumper to try and at least get the mortis down i think rollo should be able to have this even though it's a 2v1 but like he's got enough hp in him to tank that so that's a really nice save from him should be able to get out of his spawn trap hopefully although it is a spike which is pretty painful to get out of a spawn trap with so should be able to take down the chrome mortis is going to be an absolute pain that's one of uh bonnie's biggest counters it has to be mortis just because in his tank form there's just no way i can get enough damage to take him down so yeah we're getting okay nowhere near close to our super but at least we're away from this mortis mortis probably going to look to chain on us here we've got a crow jump as well which we're not going to be dealing too well with we're not really doing the most damage here missing pretty much every single shot we need to get our other forms so we can at least take one of them down that's going to be spiked down right here in eight bits turret we should be able to shred this mortis pretty easily so i'm just going to heal up here see if i can get any more chip shots on him nice we're going to get that shot on him. i'm just going to jump straight on him it should be pretty easy with our dash he's going to try and get away from us but really easily done right there so a minute left on the clock we've been pretty much spawn trapped the entire game so pretty painful right up to be fair we are using three mid brawlers that probably explains why it's a little bit difficult for us to win a lane a nice takedown on the mortar i'm just going to pop back into this form just so i can uh basically win any single 1v1 matchup once i get my super again so it's always kind of best to switch to that form straight away 
so you can just go on to the next matchup whenever you please mortis is going to get absolutely shredded by all of us that's going to be a nice mine activation and even if i miss a shot I should be able to at least get some extra damage on spike i'm just butchering all of my shots in today's uh video but it looks like i've got my super finally going to heal up and going into overtime should be pretty set say well just because we've got such good free long range brawlers so just going to jump on the crow here should be able to get within distance my auto aim for some reason goes over to the spike gadget which which is pretty damn bad but we're in such a good position just a crow we should be going into overtime pretty good so yeah i mean i've not really got the most value i'm gonna stop out of this game but that's probably because i've just butchered so many shots these guys have just been hiding behind walls like crazy this game so let's try and get within range of his mortis we're missing every single shot again so we're just going to get into auto aim range see if we can take him down he's going to chain on us somehow and looks like the crow's going to jump in he's going to get a lot of value right here let's see if we can get the ball away in time spike with that super right, guys jumping into the next again and so just trying out the stop power overall I feel like it's got to have more value than the other one. That's why I'll pretty much use it all the time. Sometimes it can take a little bit too long uh, to cycle super. And with this one, you want to stay in a tank form for as long as possible anyways. Just because you're going to be able to basically win most matchups uh, with the tank form. Uh, except for like aggro brawlers. And especially once you killed your 1v1 matchup. Especially when you catapult on them uh, with going into bonnie form. Uh, you're kind of a little bit stuck once uh, you've actually killed that 1v1 just because you, you don't really have the most range so the tank form is probably going to be your best friend for the moment so looks like we're going to get the take down there just going to jump on the m should be pretty easy just going to use my dash to get really close and personal to her to take her down and that should be the win so that's going to be another game right there let's hop into the next game all right guys the so next game is up so looks like i've got a bit of a tough matchup in this game just because i'm facing off against mortis and a primo but at least they're going to be feeding my super quite a fair bit here so that's what we love to see. So already got my super right here. I'm just going to jump right onto the primo. I'm going to use a knockback on him as well. And that just goes to show like this gadget, although can sometimes be pretty hard to get some value out of it. When you've got a matchup like that with primo, it can be pretty hard for you to win it. So that gadget can really help uh, just to further um, that 1v1 matchup. So, so like these guys are pretty much hiding. Looks like the mortis is eventually going to get taken down. Primo, he's just going to sit out of the bush and just let us uh, get some free supers. And it's like the game is going to the maintenance. So hopefully we've got enough gameplay so uh, we can finish off the video. I think we've pretty much got enough gameplay. We're going to jump onto the Primo again. Should be able to take him down. Uh, looks like Aaron should be able to get the Primo here, even though he's pretty weak. And this is down bad. It looks like they're going to actually score here. All right, guys, it's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. As you guys know, maintenance is literally in five minutes time. So I can't actually play any more games. So although I didn't really get the, mo like the most chance to actually try this one out, I feel like it's going to be really, really nice uh, for Bonnie, especially because she can't really deal with a lot of brawlers in her face a lot of the time. So uh, being able to get that extra 25% damage is going to be pretty nice. I won't really say it's completely OP or broken because the range when it splits off isn't really a lot but at least it's a nice little bit of extra damage and can really help her especially against those tanks and whatever else so that's going to be it for today's video let me know what you think of the star power in the comment section below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time